Hey everybody, this is Jason again. I wanted to show you a little project that I was working on. Here's my messy little work area. But you know what? I know where everything is and it's all mine. Anyway, this is, uh, I was walk taking a walk yesterday and this guy was throwing out some junk and I was just, I asked him, I said, can I take a look at some of this stuff? You know, maybe I can use it or whatever can I have something he said yeah go ahead and take a look so this is the only thing that I found which is an old bug zapper okay here's the little zapping apparatus or device or whatever you want to call it two wires right here hook up to a voltage multiplier and a transformer okay I'm throwing that out because it didn't work well it did but this is the problem of the transformer that ran the bug zapper. Okay, it was shortened out, and you can see the little indent where it was burning out. I tried to fix it up, see if I can cover it up, you know, with some nail polish, you know, which would enamel the, the wire, but it didn't work. So it's, I felt it wasn't safe, but I can still use this thing. Take this off of here. I got another one that's about the same size I could put on here and use it in a different project. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. All right, and this was the little voltage multiplier that was on it. it. Works pretty great. Very simple too. Okay, these two blue wires, or black wires rather. But no, yeah, they're blue. They hooked up to the transformer, and these hooked up to the the wires that goes to that little cage I just showed you. Okay, I'm gonna keep that as well to go with that as a future project alright now I'm going to keep this as a light which this is the light tube that came in it which is like a blue violet type of light which attracts the bugs maybe later on I'll change the color of it to a cool white or whatever but right now it's going to match what I want right now Okay. This is what it is. I have over a thousand or better little LED lights. And I want to use them. And I love LEDs. So, I'll put them to good use. And this is what I'm going to do. Okay. First of all, let me tell you this. This also is a transformer that runs the, the CFL the light right here the light and the, also the other transformer hooked in through this to run the zapper now mind you this is an old an old unit okay what I did is as I took it it was black flaky paint let me take it out here in the sunlight so you can see it better it was black flaky paint sanded it down some and then I painted it last night a green color and a little bit of splashing of silver or chrome rather okay as you can see it which you can't really see it too much let me see if I can get it over here Okay, well, you see the idea. Okay, I painted it. You know, I painted it green with a splat with some uh, splash of uh, silver or chrome, rather. And here's the top. I'm get ready to show you right now. Here's the top of it. That's what it looked like on the outside. Exactly like that. Turned it from that to this. Looks pretty good, don't it? That's quite a few coats of spray paint. Clear coat, two coats, no, three small, three thin coats of clear coat on top of that. Now I'm gonna tell you, if you get the chrome paint and put clear coat on top of it, use the same color, but I mean the same type, you know, enamel. Use all enamel paint. Don't mix your paints. Okay, but 
the clear coat turned the chrome a little grayish color, which is all right. I went ahead and put a little bit of chrome on top, sprayed a little bit more chrome on top. But it looks pretty good to be. Looks better than this, don't it? Thank you. And here's the little dressings. You know, little tops, you know, that goes on top of the light. The hanger. And you see it's been worn. That's where I used to hang on a hook or something. And it looks better than it did. Tell you that much. Here's another piece. I like the chrome paint. It's pretty good. Let me get back to my uh, story here. Alright. I decided that I wasn't going to put the old unit back inside of here. Which is this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I was going to, but I'm going to take it out. Okay, I'm going to put a more power efficient. Okay, I'm going to take this out of here. And what I am going to put in there is to replace it is this. This right here will take 110 to 220. And what this came out of is an old CFL, uh, which is, it came out of a CFL light bulb. You know, the little curly ones. Which came out of this right here. Okay, and these light bulbs that you find on here are basically the same as this right here, just smaller tubes and they're curly, you know, to make them fit. Okay, so I took the circuit out of this thing right here, took the circuit. I'm going to use this for something else, but I took the circuit out of here and this is what the circuit looks like right here as you see I'm only I'm doing this by myself it's kinda hard this iPad 3 is kinda heavy to hold with one hand alright anyway these is where you hook up the wire this is where you hook up the wires at right here right here take this right here As you can see, right here, on each side of this board, there's two connections. Two connections. This is how I'm going to hook this up. These two go right here to the first two. These two over here, where my thumb is, goes to the second two. So two and two. And the red and black wire goes to your plug-in okay so now what I'm gonna do is put this in back inside of here with this little hookup and I'm gonna use its original hookup which is this I had to fix this side right here with some epoxy because I was trying to take the rivet out of there and it broke but it's together and I'm gonna rivet it back in after I get it hooked all back up Okay, but yeah, this is the hookup right here. Your hot wires come in here. From here. Okay, so both of these right here go to your bulb. See right there, it plugs right, your bulb plugs right there in the four holes. <clears throat> and these little hookups right there. Then hookups right here are going to go to all four of these wires and then I hook this up to the plug-in voila I got light <clears throat> now also what I'm going to do is let me take this out away I'm going to incorporate a plug which is this right here this was the this was gonna this was the old turn on and off switch. When you plug the light back in, it clicks that and it turns it on. Okay, like I said, I was gonna use this, which is this is a new plug. This was the old. This one right here is the old one. You see how rusty it is. Let's 
see how rusty that is. I was going to replace it with the new one that I had laying around. It came out of a microwave. I had to bend this up right here. And it's a lot newer. It ain't been weathered or nothing. So, anyway, but I'm not going to use the old hookup. So, like I said, I'm going to take that out. Anyway, I'm going to give you an up. Oh, I'm going to incorporate this switch in there. It's old, but you know what? It still works. I'm going to put this right here. And it'll work just fine. It's not going to be an outside light. It's going to be an inside light now. So I ain't going to worry about no water or anything else getting in there. And also, guess what else I'm going to do? I got LEDs. I'm going to incorporate LEDs in here and around the edges of the light. I'm going to probably put six to eight to six LEDs on each side. So when I get, I'll come up with some updates when I get started and everything else, blah, 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 I'll skip it. So, I'll come back with another update. Alright, peace.